Here's a case in which a father sued a daycare, alleging the daycare failed to provide adequate service and sanitary service for his daughter during the two weeks that she attended there. The father asked for a refund for all monies that he paid to the daycare for the two weeks of service. The father provided a couple thousand dollars for registration fees, one month of enrollment at the daycare, and a non-refundable deposit. The daughter attended daycare starting there in September of 2021. She stopped going to the daycare on September 16th, 2021 after the father removed her from there. The father first started complaining about the daycare on September 15th when he sent an email to them stating that when he picked up his daughter that day, she was covered in sand and mud. On September the 16th, he picked his daughter up from daycare and she had a scratch on her forehead approximately two to three centimeters long. That's when he stopped using the daycare and stopped delivering his daughter there. The father then filed a complaint at the British Columbia Civil Resolutions Tribunal, which handles small claims matters of under $5,000. The father argued that a reasonable daycare provider wouldn't return children to their parents if the children are dirty, and it also wouldn't provide children back to their parents if the children suffered scratches on their head. Thus, the father argued the services provided by this daycare fell below that of a reasonable daycare provider. The daycare argued it's not uncommon for children to get dirty, especially if they're playing outside. The daycare also argued that it's not uncommon for kids to get minor cuts and scratches when kids are playing together. The daycare also argued that the contract for services in this case didn't require it to change the child's clothing just because the child got a little dirty while playing outside. The tribunal considered both parties' arguments and dismissed the father's case, stating that the father needs to provide expert evidence if he's going to argue that a professional service provider like a daycare fell below the standard of care expected of such a service provider. The tribunal noted that in some exceptional cases, expert evidence isn't required if it's so obvious that the professional services provider fell below the standard of care expected of it. The tribunal concludes by saying the evidence here is pretty thin. The fact the daughter came back to her father with some dirty clothes and a minor scratch on her forehead is not enough to prove that the daycare fell below the standard of care expected of a reasonable daycare provider. However, the tribunal found the father made a slight overpayment to the daycare when enrolling his daughter to the tune of $100. So we got his $100 back in overpayment plus a whopping 24 cents in interest on that $100. Now you know.